Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turk Van Gogh GameStop Squirming Tobes. Welcome. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Turk Van Gogh. This is Toby Van Gogh. He's the CEO of the channel. Why are you squirming, bro? Uh, and we're going to continue a game that just recently had an update called Midnight Paradise. Now, if you guys don't know Midnight Paradise, but you do know adult games, you might know a game called Dreams of Desire that was actually really, really good and that I played uh, best, I guess, last year. And uh, we went through the entire development. We played all the updates. We went all the way from beginning to end. And it was a super strong game, really good quality, great writing, good story, really trippy story, but um, ended kind of weak in my opinion. But that doesn't take away from the developer's talent, the quality of the game, and my interest in this game. So um, if you guys want, you guys can check out the previous Midnight Paradise videos. I think there was two of them where we played the first, literally the first version uh, that was released to, the, to patrons. So I'll put those links down with this video. I'll also include all the patrons that have been supporting this channel that deserve um, a shout out. And um, if I haven't shouted you out, uh, I promise I will. Just, you know, keep supporting the channel, comment, you know, write to me, and uh, I'll feature you on one of these videos. But uh, thank you guys, again, for your patience, for your love, for the likes, uh, even for the dislikes, and um, for all of your comments and shit, because I love reading them. You know, when I'm laying in bed at night or in the morning, when I get a chance to look at my phone and all the comments, that shit makes me really happy and keeps me from, uh, you know, getting stuck in the zone of depression and, you know, everything that everybody else goes through. People like you, I know, I'm sure you guys have some bad times and bad thoughts and you get stuck, man. There's so much responsibility and a lot of negativity in the world and everything you see on TV is bad and people blaming each other. I like to take a break from that, distract myself with games, all kinds of games. I'm a huge proponent of video games, obviously. I'm a self-proclaimed nerd. I've always been since I was a little kid, playing Genesis, Atari, Nintendo, and uh, staying inside and playing video games. Although I did skateboard for 13 years, and I used to play outside, you know, all night and all day. But um, I still love to go home and play the newest PC game or console games. And uh, now I'm into these adult games just because they're different, you know? You guys can see Days Gone and, and Mortal Kombat Online and all that stuff. And although I like playing those games too, um, I like being a little different because... You know, not a lot of people are supporting these adult developers. So me and little Topes here, we're going to play this game together. He's going to probably chill next to me and um, hope you guys like it. Please let the developer know what you think about the game. I'll put the link down below where you can get it. And please go to my Patreon right above my head. Patreon.com slash TVGG. You can't click on that link, but the link will be right down below. It'll probably be the first uh, little line there in the description. That's literally how I keep this going. Without your support and the current patrons, I couldn't do this. Trust me. Um, I don't make any money on YouTube. Any. Zero. You know? It's like, what, $10 this month? And I don't even get to take it because you have to hit a $100 threshold every month on YouTube to get the money sent to you. And that's not happening. It happened on my previous channel that was taken down that I worked really, really hard on. And I had like 1,200 videos on, but not on this one. So, without further ado, which every YouTuber probably says on every video... We're going to continue Midnight Paradise. So I hope this is good. Dreams of Desire was really good. Hopefully this developer learned from the previous mistakes and has a little bit more experience a little, and definitely a lot of creativity. So let's check this out. All right. Patreon.com slash TVGG. Let's go. And I think on the last video, so I guess you come home from school, you, you, you flunked out of school, you're broke and you come home. Your dad's kind of a, you know, all work and no play type of guy. Your mom's really sweet. You live with two sisters, I think. And uh, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. And uh, we're going to continue where we left off. Hopefully we can load the last save we had on the last version. Loot Lab's pretty good with that. Like most games, if you load the last save on a new version, it either won't let you or you're going to have some glitches. But um, Loot Lab's pretty good with this. So this is made by the Unity engine. There's the developer's name or the name, name of the company. I think the developer has a different name. I'm not sure. Maybe Dr. Sin, I think. So let's go to load game. There's our save from February 2nd, February, March, April. So it's almost three months. I'm going to see if it loads. And what I was saying before, so the kid comes home, flunks out of school, and then I guess has to go to new classes. And that's where we left off. We met the teacher and the version ended. So if you guys want to see where we left off, you can go down below and see the previous two videos, or just type in Turk Van Gogh and Midnight Paradise, or just type in Midnight Paradise. I'm sure my videos will pop up and um, you'll see, you'll kind of catch up here. So I have no idea what we're doing right now. Let's see if this version works. Let's go to the bathroom. I always forget to change my mouse. Every single video. I swear, it's like a tradition. The reason I changed the mouse out is because I have one of those gaming PC mouses that really click loud. 
And then this one is really soft. It's like $6 from Best Buy. I bet I could snatch the car keys and drive out there. I'm sure he hid them in his room. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. We're moving forward. Okay, uh, landlady. The reason the names are changed is because Patreon policy is weird. They don't want any relations like Game of Thrones style, if, you know, the Targaryens and the, and, the, and the Lannisters. They don't want that type of relations on Patreon, which is silly because it's just digital art. It's a fake story. But anyway, okay, long day ahead. I never understood how he does these things, staying up work, working late hours, even at home. Then he's up in the morning like he slept for 10 hours and just off to work again. Anyway, I have to look good today. I think we see in this part where he comes in. Yeah, we've seen this part. So let's continue. We'll forward time a little bit. We're just being complimentative. Okay, here we go. His friend comes to pick him up. And then we go to school. Okay. Instead, because we were about to take the bus. This is where the fucking game ended. Sorry it took so long, guys. Okay, now before we get started, I know you're all probably wondering how I managed to get this position when all the other when all other economics teachers had have have had half a foot in the grave. Okay, so she's trying to say she's young. But I assure you, I work very hard to get this position and I know my stuff. Is this her office? Yep, sure is. Just need to speak with you before I left today. I think it would be best if we did that by having tutoring sessions in the library. Okay, I remember that. Damn, she got a huge pair of boobays. If I could just man I could just imagine those things bouncing in my face. Did you hear what I said? What? I think it's best if you met me at the library. Okay, sounds good. Okay, cool, cool. Here we go. So let's save it. In case the game glitches out again. We'll auto save it up here. Town view. Let's check out the town. Alright, this should be the area Kyle said to meet him at. He said to be at the bottom of the stairs beneath the race. Okay, there he is. Hey Kyle. Connor, bud, you found me. Of course I found you. It wasn't hard. It's good to know I could, you could find vague locations then. <laughs> but hey, before we get down to business, man, it's good to be back hanging out. It's been so boring without someone mischievous. Yeah, it definitely has been too long, man. All right, so you want to make some dough, right? Hell yeah. Okay, excellent. I got the perfect gig lined up. So his parents took his money, so he needs to make cash. You know what I'm saying? All you need to do is deliver these envelopes, and the guy receiving them will give you cash. That's all? Just deliver these envelopes and they'll pay me? That's all. Just drop it, grab. Easy as pie. You're not starting a postal service, are you? Becoming a postman wasn't really the job I was hoping for. Nah, man, nothing like that. Oh, shit, this is some, some mafioso shit. He's doing some, some probably legal shit. The postal service has a damn good pension plan. Never pegged you for the... Maybe this is a glitch. Hmm. Okay, plan for the future. Okay, what's in these envelopes? So we're just going to go. Damn, we're going to a shady place. Damn, that's scary, man. Look at that fucking... Oh, my God. Okay, some dude's coming. Oh, the police! Well, well, well. Seems we have another vagrant hanging about. Vagrant? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess that makes you one of the local lowlifes then. Do I look like someone that would live around here? Look, I don't know what your deal is, but I'm just going to go. I don't think so. Why? You found yourself in some deep shit, Tenant. What are you even talking about? Do you really think your activities this evening have gone unnoticed? We've been trailing you since your last drop. I don't know what you think I've been doing, but I haven't done anything wrong. Damn, look, he's got a fucking 1911 out, yo. Just come with us quietly and you won't get hurt. Damn, these guys... No point in trying to escape this. Damn, he's in jail. Yo, his parents are going to be pissed. When are you going to tell me what I've done wrong? You can't keep me here. You know, do you even know who my father is? With the kind of shit you're in, tenant, money won't help you get out of it. No matter what, no matter how much landlordy is worth. So instead of saying dad, they say landlord. Okay. Shit, this is not good. My father's going to be pissed. Even He might even disown me. I wonder when someone will even be able to come get me. Okay. Or how will they find me? How will they know? This isn't the first time I've been in a holding cell, but it seems much more serious than the previous times. I don't want to go to jail. It's certainly not on, for Kyle's stupid shit. What has that moron even got? What the F has that moron even gotten in, into if I got arrested for it? Makes me wonder how much that asshole actually knew before handing me those envelopes. One thing for sure, I, I'll owe him a right hook to the face after this. Damn, it sucks, man. You do something for your friend and you get in trouble for it. I've been in that situation so many times, yo. Uh, if you use the uh, mouse um, rolly thing and you roll up, you can go back in case you want to go back and make a different decision. I'm your attor attorney. My dad sent you? I don't think so. You got yourself in some deep shit, but I think I might have something of interest in that pool of shit you're swimming in. Okay, what is it? It's about that hard-ass special cop? He's taking care of for now. Okay, just like that? Look, don't make me regret my decision. Start walking. Thanks for getting me out. Who, who the F are you? Isaac Thorne. Here's my card. Drop by my office if you need some work. Okay, shit, man. What the fuck is going on? Hey, Ma, you looking for? You look a little stressed. Would you like a massage? And we move locations. We move from the kitchen to the bedroom. That's a good sign. I could really use a shoulder massage. Well, you're in luck. I like to think I'm quite good. Okay, so we're doing the massage thing. Okay, nice to have all my... Okay, so tenants. The reason it's saying tenants is because it's replacing the word like kids or family. 
So I'm so glad my tenants are home. Me too, landlady. Okay, uh, well, anything really. You're still into yoga, right? I could be your yoga partner. A massage, like you gave me a massage? Wouldn't that be weird? Not at all. Come on, you'll enjoy it. All right. Oh, I. Oh, wait. All right. I guess in one way to make things up to me. Dude, that's a dope thumbnail right there, yo. Patreon.com slash TVGG if you guys want to see any of this shit on sets or any of the previous videos on sets or if you don't care and you just want to support your boy. I really, really encourage that. Why don't you lay down? It'll be more comfortable. Oh, wait, what happened? It just kind of like stopped. Okay, we can't go in the bathroom. I'm just click. I know this is like pointless, but okay, pull shorts. You see, oh, we could do more stuff. Let's do the booty grope. Oh, there's, look at this. There's fucking 3D animation. It's brilliant, yo. Okay, the skin. That's beautiful skin. It's like, it almost seems delicious. Like, you, you know, like it would taste delicious. Let's go to Isabella's room. Let's do, oh, let's do this. Let's rub the punani. Look what he's doing. Oh my God. And look, she's like, you could see her breathing. Her stomach's moving. Her chest's moving. This is really well done, yo. He's getting better. Dr. Sin or, or Lude Lab, whatever you want to call him, is getting better. Her or him. I don't know. I think it's a dude. Okay, maybe she's enjoying this. She's making noises, dog. I did notice that there's no audio yet. And it's typical because this game is still in, um, whatever, alpha. Maybe we can go to the city. Okay, why am I even here? Okay, uh, uh, okay so we're going to our attorney. Hey, it's Connor. He came. Well, I want to know why you got me out of jail. Isn't it obvious? Nobody does anything if it doesn't serve them in some way. You have something I need. Like what? Information. Where'd you get those envelopes? And don't lie to me. I can get your ass back in jail faster than you think. It's just great. I came here so you could threaten me? You came here because you're curious and you need money. Now answer my question. The envelopes. That Kyle, the Kyle gave it to me. He said it's good business to deliver them. Didn't say anything about the cops. So your friend Kyle. All right. I'll make some arrangements. Then we could talk about business. Watch the office till I get back. It won't take long. Don't touch anything. Okay, here's, here's the guy. He's getting a voicemail. It wasn't the real dear, deal. It's a better replica, but it's still a million miles away from the original. Let me know. Well, that was interesting. Anything happened while I was away? Shit, see, maybe we should go back. Fuck, we can't. I was going to say, maybe we can go back to the, to the finding shit. Okay, buy one. You'll need it later. So he's giving us cash. Okay, I'll call you when I need you. Okay, so he's giving us a job. Okay, so we got a laptop. This is so weird. Why? So the, he, our lawyer just hired us, yo? He's not defending us? Oh, I think I have an idea how I could get landlady at night. <laughs> She's, landlords always work her so hard. But I think some good old sleeping pills should do the trick. This is crazy. We need to put something. How do we? Okay, here we go. They weren't joking about express delivery. It's the real deal. So damn, he got some knockout pills. The KO it's called. It's called the KO. Let's see if we can meet up with the teacher, yo. Here's the teacher's room. Okay, I'm glad you showed up. Let's start today's lesson. 30 minutes later. Do you understand? I think so. He says, I don't. In his head. So there's an assignment in front of you. Let's see if you can solve it. I'll be grading them tests in the meantime. Okay. Should we concentrate or stare at her boobays? Ugh. I mean, we can see her boobays from here, but let's just try and concentrate. Let's just, let's not try and get in trouble. Okay, not bad. It, let's get on her good side. So don't worry. We'll get through this together. Dude, she is hot though, man. We got the university here. This is a nice map. It's kind of cool. Harding residence. And then we can't go there. And that's, those are the only two places we can go. Isabella's room. Let's do this. I know you guys are going to ask why we didn't do this. Oh, my God. Pedicured feet, yo. I mean, those are nice feet. Oh, damn. You got different angles. Can't go in the bathroom. Let's go to Ruby's room. Let's try and use feet. Let's see what this looks like. Beautiful. I mean, she is perfect, to be honest. Can we do... Let's try this. Let's try and see if we can see some internet shit. <gasps> Ruby walks in while we smashing it ourselves. Dude, while we're, while we're fapping, dude, that's hot. I love situations like these. God, I wish I could use this thumbnail. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, patreon.com slash tvgg. Right above my head. Go to that shit. Hey, Connor, can you let me? Ew. I guess I could say the same. Why don't you knock? I wasn't expecting this. Maybe you should lock the door. Shit.